What's going on, homies? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory. Now, this episode, we're going to be playing, uh, the plan is to play three games, and I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of upset, because I'm kind of upset last episode that I did end it, uh, one game short, because if I did manage to do three games this game, this episode, and three games this episode, the final game of yesterday, or today's, or this episode, oh my goodness, would be against number seven, Georgia Tech. So, uh, I'm kind of upset. Actually, now that I think about it, this might just be a two-game episode, because then, uh, uh, the next episode after this one will end off on the uh, at number seven Georgia Tech So we're just gonna hop right into this game against Wake Forest. All right, so this is an away game But we do have a strong uh, Strong fan show up. So we're gonna choose tails cuz tails never fails. Oh shoot. That's like the first time It's actually felt in a while. Yo, I'm actually low-key feeling Wake Forest's field I kind of like their field and their unis. I don't know. This is actually I, li I like this team. This should have been another option. Okay, now we're going to pass an A because he's going to be along the sideline. And that'll give us 20 yards. And I was going to do our rushing offense, but I kind of forgot to do that. Now we are uh, approximately kind of maybe halfway through our... Uh, I think we're halfway past our sophomore season. So coming up here soon... I mean, it's already going to be the end of this the, this season before you know it. And then we're halfway through the college career. Realistically, this series started maybe around a month ago, a little bit less than a month ago. And uh, if we're already flying past uh, the first two years of our college career. Now, I've also, I've also figured out that I've been sick for two months now. I'm still coughing. And you, you might think, like, what the heck? You've literally been sick for a long time. And... You're really, you're, you're, you're really right. I've been sick since uh, before Christmas Eve, and right now it's February 22nd when I'm recording this, so I have been sick for a while now. I just can't get rid of this cough. I've gone on medication, and the medication didn't work, so I think I'm just going to go with the flow until it goes away. And realistically, ooh, that could have been bad. Realistically, the... I would imagine it going away once we do get the warmer weather because I mean it's mid-February in Ohio and it it's super cold but then again mid-February in Ohio any really any time of the year in Ohio it could be like 50 degrees one day and then like negative 20 the next like we had a uh, what did we call it it was like a I don't know it was a cold it was a cold like two days and like everywhere in the country was feeling like these two really two cold days and um like where I'm from, it was like negative 11 and then it was like negative 11 and then not even like 48 hours later. Oh shit. That's bad. Not even 48 hours later, it was 60 degrees. So you're telling me that, uh, the temperature could change that much. That's a bad start. Holy shit. I got to speed up there. Come on, 81. You got this. You got this. Dive, 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 dive. Pick six. That sucks. So you're telling me it was like negative 10 and then a 60 the next day within not even like 48, 24, whatever it was hours. Well, that could have been bad if he didn't sack me. Am I injured? Oh, this is a terrible time to be injured because we're like, we're down. All right, we're back. Our quarterback, <laughs> our backup quarterback was able to put us ahead by seven, score us two touchdowns. Let's see if we can actually show what we're made of because right now we're not having such a good game. I mean, a pick six, uh, a lot of incomplete passes. We've gotten sacked. And of course, we got injured for basically a full quarter. And we're not going to give it to our halfback because we're a little bit selfish, but... Yeah, I, I've been super busy this week. I have to write a, or I had to write a five to seven page paper, and I was super stressed about what right, what's. That's bad. Okay, this is a bad game for for us already. Uh, we don't really improve our play. We are not gonna be. Number one in the Heisman race when it comes to next <laughs> next week. Oh my God, my I, I, it hurts to breathe. Really, it does not really. But uh, what's his face? Dixon already has 90 yards, which is kind of insane for my boy Dixie Stick, Pixie Stick, to have 90 yards. Now, hopefully, we can get Overton on this play over the middle. And going back to uh, how how busy my week was, I uh, just throw it to you because that's that's really my best option. I have. I've had a five to seven page paper to write all week and I just did that last night. I wrote all of it last night and I, I have some small stuff I need to do, but for the most part, it's it's over with. I've completed the paper. I just got to, again, put some finishing details in there and that should be in the end zone. Nice. Now in this uh, 
then also this week, I think it might have been Wednesday or Tuesday, I had my ACT. So uh, that's very important. It's the first time I've taken it, taken it. So I knew I had to do good on it if I didn't want to have to take it again. And overall, I feel like I did pretty well on it. I get my results back in two to three weeks. So fingers crossed that I, I got a decent score. If I got something over like a 20, 21, 22, I'll be ha probably over a 22 at least. I'll be, I'll be content. I won't take it again. But if it's super low, I'm I'm gonna have to take it again, and I don't I don't imagine I did bad on it. I'm I'm a relatively smart person. I don't I, I don't get bad grades too often. It's just not who I am, and I just am naturally smart-ish. I don't want I don't want to be like conceited, be like oh yeah I'm the smartest motherfucker ever. But I I realistically I am. Now my boy Kendall Joseph is able to to. Get us some more yards. We completed five straight passes, so we have improved since throwing our two picks. We need to try to get in the end zone right here. We only have one time uh, one timeout, so my goal is to throw it to beat. Oh, flip. But that should stop the clock as long as I get the first down. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. We're going to rush up because this rushing offense really is good for us. And I'm assuming we might be able to catch that corner strike in the end zone unless they... Like a rogue middle linebacker gets put on the over 10 touchdown. So now it's the beginning of the third quarter. Uh, I believe they got it first because they, they won the toss. So we're going to pass it to him. We might have been able to pass it to X or whoever that was on the left side, whoever number five is. He might have been open. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to do a read option because we haven't done a read option this whole entire game. And every almost everybody in the offense is feeling pretty high except for some of the important people like our halfback and such. And we weren't able to do too much with that, so we're going to rush it up. Change the play because clearly that wasn't the correct play, and I wasn't able to read it correctly. I wasn't really going for a read. I was just kind of trying to take it because <laughs> I'm selfish. So we're going to run it and slide so we can't get injured or fumble or anything of that sort. Now, I'm also looking at I'm playing Rainbow Six again, so tell me if you want me to do Rainbow Six videos because... Um, I just got done. I, I watched the Invitational, like whenever it was on, and I actually it, it made me want to play it again. And some of the operators were like super cheap. Like usually the operators, uh, like the I don't know if they're year one or original operators, the ones that have like dock and stuff, and then uh, they were like super cheap. They're like not even half off. They're a great percentage off when they're injured. We're back on the field, and we only wasted around two minutes off the field and with how many times have you gotten injured you would think that coach would be like okay we gotta we gotta we gotta sit you out maybe a few games because i get injured every single get rb was open for a, um for a mile oh oh my god if he did not latch on me right there i was uh, gone a boy holy lord i'm just really good at running now back to rainbow I was watching the Invitational it makes you want to play, and some of the original operators usually they're like fifteen thousand renown credits or whatever, uh, but which is like the currency in that game. But they're now they're five hundred to fifteen hundred renown, so uh, I'm able to play um, more people than other or more than one person because usually I just played Sledge and uh, Mute or Rook. I usually played Rook because Rook was a lot easier to play, and uh, I'm running a lot. It's because they haven't like caught on to it yet and if i ran more to the right side i <laughs> might have been gone that's i might have been gone but i that was my fault i didn't manage to do that so hopefully we'll be able to get into the end zone on this play uh i don't think we will i think we'll get close but i'm gonna probably pass it to dixie stick get that block and we're injured we've gotten injured three times this game that is really bad in terms of like our our long-term health now oh what a good pass by overton seven number seven tried to like hop in front of that ball and try to intercept it but like Overton's like no no that's my ball so now there's only four minutes left in the fourth quarter and at this point i'm assuming we're just going to kind of run the clock out a lot and joseph might be able to stay in bounds and get more yards which he was able to do he's able to stiff arm a little bit get extra yards until getting plowed off the field and Again, coach probably wants us to score again because we are only up by 12. So we're only up by two possessions. Probably wants to get more of uh, more padding in our lead. So we're just going to help coach out and make him happy. <laughs> lay down, lay down, lay down. I'm not injured. I'm fine. Like, 
usually when you're injured, you the guy puts like his arm on his or his hand on his chest or on his knee or whatever, and he you could tell like when he's injured. But but um sometimes the getting up animation is like him putting his arm like over the the middle of his body, and it kind of scares me that I'm injured and I'm just gonna run it because I'm an absolute bossy annihilator. I'm not injured, no fumbles. We're gonna rush up. And we should be able to get into the end zone with a pass to Richard on this play. That's the goal, at least. So let's open it right up. Hike the ball, please. There's some motion on the play. And we're getting blitz throw. Touchdown. For the most part, coach is just going to have us run out the, the clock. Why are there? It looks like it's kind of like they're, they're building in the back there. It looks kind of black and white. Uh, okay, that was the, the wrong play call. And they have all timeouts. So, um... I think I should get a first down, but coach for the most part is just going to have us run out the ball, run out the time. So I'm just going to do that. So we're able to get out of uh, of Wake Wake Forest. I don't know where they play at. Uh, travel to Winston-Salem. So we're able to get out of Winston-Salem uh, with a dub against Wake Forest, 42-30. to 30. Now we're going to hop into the next week and play NC State. So we're still ranked second in the country. NC State does look like a... A good team sitting at six and one i'm gonna actually check out the top 25 kind of see what's going on in this area now virginia tech still sitting atop of the top 25 we need them to sit up there comfy the whole entire uh this the whole entire season we need them to be comfy up there now we uh one some of the big games is number eight texas a&m and lsu and then for the most part that's really it i mean uh, Notre Dame's playing Arizona State, but again, that's it. Not too much. Kansas State's playing uh, uh, University of Kansas. Now, yeah, again, th there's not much here. And kind of confuses me. Is there any Ohio State? Okay, I, was, I thought I didn't see Ohio State in the top 25. Like, that's really unheard of. Now, let's go check out the Heisman watch. I'd be surprised if we're still sitting on top of that, which we are. That's beautiful because we did have a bad, a very bad week. So, let's uh, I'm gonna go to the upgrades and see if there's anything with like injuries cuz to be quite honest We can't we can't afford more injuries I mean especially in big games like the national championship or something which we are 100% getting in this year just because uh, I have confidence because we probably won't lose a game this whole season. Now I'm gonna upgrade these two and that'll put us at Wow, look at those stats a 95 speed 92 strength uh, 98 acceleration 95 agility so we really could do spin moves and stuff, but I think I'm just too lazy to do it. So now we're going to hop into this game against 6-1 and one NC State. So we are home for this game, so they choose. Uh, they managed to F up the, the coin toss, so we're going to kick. So we are down by 7. They were able to score on the first drive, so they are coming out hot. Now, I I'd like to say that uh, my goal for like the longest time with YouTube was to get uh nasty jukes right there but one of my uh, bigger goals was to hit 100 subscribers and uh the fact that we're only nine away at this point is completely mind-blowing to me I, I was at like 80 i was at like 88 and then i somebody unsubscribed and i was like okay oh well it's gonna happen we're just gonna plow through because that shouldn't worry about subscribers really and then we got another one back and then when I uploaded my most recent video after feeling down about um, My channel and recording and I was like, I just don't know if I have it in me with recording and stuff I, I had gained like three subscribers. I think that's really just such a motivating factor Beyond anything anyone could imagine. So keep keep throwing the love and support I, I completely love it. If we hit 100, I'm gonna be really happy. Uh, I don't I don't know if I do anything just because uh, I don't know. I might I might do something for a hundred, but it wouldn't be anything like too crazy like shoving my head in a toaster or some shit, but it, it'll be Decent now. Honestly, that looks like a hit that would get us injured, but we're fine. Are we fine? Yeah, we're fine We're gonna get right back up and we're gonna get in the end zone on this play because this is actually this is actually a really good drive We've been throwing passes. We've been running the ball really efficiently. It's just now punching into the end zone Let's not throw a pick and That should be touchdown right there they were able to uh, clap back at us, and they're able to score. They're able to score again. So now we are still down seven. We're gonna have to put on the Jets this game. They are really playing us tightly. Ooh, I thought he was gonna catch that, and Matt McKay was able to come in with the deflection. Be like, get that his out of here, man. That that crap is not allowed. And 
I, I just thought about it now. I need to like lower my cussing and how much cussing I actually do because that's just I want to stop doing it. And we were able to get the first. First and 10 at approximately the 35, 36 yard line. Uh, hopefully we can, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. This is that one play where you could really get some na dank, nasty stuff going if, you, if you're if you able to get the defenders going. Now, I wasn't able to do any of that dank, nasty stuff, so I'm just going to throw it away to be safe, and therefore we don't lose any yards in that play. I was lucky to get out of that play uh, safe and sound, not injured, but I, I, mean, I did say this in one of my one of my older episodes, but I will be 100% because I... Jesus, Lord, Savior. When I do import this player into Madden, apparently coach is taking us out or we are injured. I have no clue. When I do put this player into Madden, I, I, I will 100% be um, making his his injury 100, like 100 overall or 99 overall, my bad. Because it's super annoying getting injured literally every quarter and possibly going down one or two scores especially in games like this where we are down in the game and uh if we get injured that's just that's bad <laughs> that just means free wins for all the other team now if jackson's quick which he's a small but relatively uh relatively slow boy we weren't able to get too many yards and we're gonna do the same exact play but we're gonna flip it this time i think flipping it would be good that'll send dixon deep on the the right side if i can remember my rights and less if he can get off of his man which i'm gonna just honestly bet <laughs> i was like i mean my boy dixon he was he's able to do it before and but not on this difficulty looks like he's still not gonna do it on this difficulty i feel that if you are playing on the higher difficulties there's no reason in running uh streak routes or like uh streaks downfield because it's just they're always going to be guarded so uh, or covered is the correct wording so i don't know the points in that the raptors actually play on espn tonight now whenever they always whenever they play on espn i always have to watch them because it is rare that they do play on espn <gasps> throw throw i tried throwing away that was not my fault game but to talk about something the act that i took uh Wednesday it actually wasn't too hard so how it's like broken down is you do the english honestly let's try it <sighs> Good thing our defense is actually playing defense because they should be up by like two or three possessions right now with how many possessions we've thrown away. Now, the ACT is broken down into English, uh, English, and then you go math, reading, and then science. And then there is an optional writing section If you, that's optional. And some colleges do require that, but um, the college I, I, I want to go to doesn't really require that. So I'm happy with that because I... I, I, I I don't want to say I suck at writing, but I don't like writing. I think it's the most boring thing. But um, overall, the the English is easy because it's just all grammar and stuff. And I'm I'm just generally good at grammar. I've always been because uh, I was always taught to use good grammar. And then the math section, I'm just generally good at math. So I I the math part was not hard. The reading part was kind of hard because I don't read. I'm not like a bookworm. I'm not really. I don't want to say I'm like, I'm bad at reading, but I just don't like reading. And that might be a touchdown. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good pass. Kudos to our defense. They are stopping them drive after drive. We gotta be able to to make some plays off of these stopped drives. Now, then, when it went on to the science section, a lot of people thought the science was actually hot. Oh, he caught that. Yo, he caught that. A lot of people thought the science is hard, but realistically, the science part is just a whole bunch of graphs and charts and tables and you just have to read the charts and tables you just kind of like it'll say like go to the, this part of this graph and then once you get that number uh go to this part of this graph using that number like it, you just kind of it's a lot of looking for graphs and stuff so i'm very confident with my with the, the score that i got um again i don't know what it is yet but i'll get it back in two to three weeks now we have not too much time to get down the field. Oh, push me out of bounds, and I got the first. That's magical right there. That's like the best of both worlds. I don't think that's uh, how many yards I should be getting, considering there's 33 seconds on the clock, but it's all that that matters right now. Now, we're going to... Can we tell what's his face? Yeah, pass, pass block, pass block, pass block, pass block. Oh, my goodness. What a good call because they're blitzing, and I'm still going to get, like, sacked or some shit. Oh, catch, 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 and run, catch, and run. Okay, timeout. That's great. 18 yards with a 50-yard line. We can actually uh, 
get some good plays here. If we can get some good plays here, we could possibly get into the end zone before half. That's uh, purely the goal. Now, B, I throw it to you. Hopefully, you'll get out of bounds. Either way, it's a first down, so the clock stops until we get set. Is there any other plays? Like, four verticals would probably be good. I could throw it over, throw it to Richards. And even if we do not get in the end zone here soon, uh, we will be close, and we have that timeout. Throw away, throw away, throw away, because I wasted too much time. We're going to go for it one more time. I believe that we can get it one more time. That's how I feel. Uh, I don't think we can get in the end zone unless we do get a magnificent play, but... Let's get closer for our kicker because he is kicking the ball after all. Don't want to make his job harder. We need to get three points at least. No, get down. Timeout, 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 timeout. Oh, I'm injured. Please get three points. Okay, I, I could have probably gotten more yards on that, but as long as we get three points, we did not get three points. Okay. How <laughs> awesome, dude. Fantastic. But... Starting the third quarter, we do get the ball first because we won the toss and we elected to kick first. Uh, my linemen doing a whole bunch of work, a whole bunch of fantastic work like they always do. Always doing all the dirty work up front. We need to get Richard hot. You know what, Richard? Put yourself on a slant. We're going to get you a heady boy. Everybody else on the team is hot. We need to get you there, my buddy. And... Uh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. We are playing so bad right now uh, We have like one interception and just in the span of the last few plays We've been playing super bad uh, fields is not feeling it too much. So we're gonna get him a little catch on the sideline and A first down and possibly a little bit more. He's able to get us a 26 yard reception for the first time That's not what I expected. I expected him to get a, like a tippy toe tapping uh, first down now. This is gonna be the last uh game of this episode just because i think playing that georgia tech game that number seven georgia tech which i did not check if they're still number seven which i doubt they are let's throw that honestly i don't know who's over there but i'm gonna throw it oh you could have caught that my boy you could have caught that my boy but it's like you know what defender touched it that that ball's dead to me it's dead to me i can't do that but this is gonna be the last game of this episode because uh ending the episode off with georgia tech that was a good pass especially with the blitz and being under pressure i think it's a good way to uh kind of reel you in a little bit next episode you're like oh you you're pl you're playing top uh top 10 ranked georgia tech oh but you play him second looks like i have to watch the video if you know what i'm saying uh, so that's my mindset should be able to get a f easy first down with overton and he's able to get more than gets plot over by who's that like number 28 or something like that we're gonna rush up my boy deandre overton has 50 or five receptions for 150 yards it's pretty impressive for my boy but he's actually kind of good hopefully he doesn't graduate the same time dixon does because they're they're both really good players and they will be missed and we are wasting too much time throw 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 there you go good boy and we're injured okay so uh although we were able to score they were able to score as well so it's still a one possession game nearing towards the end of the third quarter we're going to play at our best okay we need to play at our best but here's the free pick but you just managed to throw that that free pick away like it was like dog trash or something so uh that's it's fantastic for you that's a uh, free pass it's all right it's all right that's a safe pass I was looking downfield, couldn't find anything. I was about to get sacked. Let's throw it to that free pass right there, that free uh, first down. I was, I was very, very correct in that game plan. We're going to send Dixon over the middle, and possibly he's going to be open on that left side unless they really do cover him, which it kind of looks like they're doing, but I'm still able to find a little little pocket. And my boy Dixie stick is fast. He would have been gone except for that guy who was able to get the ankles, get his shoestrings, tie, a, tie his uh, shoestrings up, and then be like, trip, bitty, trip, trip, trip. Overton now this might actually be able to uh, a play that might be able to get us into the end zone, but there's also a play that could possibly Force us to intercept or the play that I could juke out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Look at that run. Look at that run. That's why I'm the best quarterback in college football history I'm better than any other quarterback Tim Tebow pfft. Who else? I don't even know. I can't even think of it. I mean Peyton Manning pfft. No, doesn't compare to us. Oh, they read that. 
That's tough. That is truly tough. That was a wasted drive by me. After I was gassing myself up, I managed to fumble, so... Don't gas yourself up, kids. Now, I'm gonna have... Uh, I'm gonna have both of these guys pass block for me. Dude, honestly, I have an extra guy pass block for me, and he still does not manage to get the block. Two guys were passed, like, two extra guys were pass blocking for me, and not even one of them could even, like, put a breath on that, like, on that, the, the, the defender rushing me. I don't know what, what they're thinking. I'm gonna get some yardage here. Let's not fumble now, but it, that will make it third and one. We gotta get physical if we're gonna want to uh, win this game. Again, we're only up by one possession, and I 100% get that comment where that guy said, turn up your, your difficulty, because it's just boring, and truly it was, but... Right now, yeah, I know what you mean now. I, this, this is actually a lot more fun. Being only up by one score. Then again, we are playing kind of stupid. We have been playing kind of stupid. But being up only up one score, that's just... That rush, man, it's unmatched, bro. So, I 100% get what you mean now. Let's get RB for our safe first down and more. I was I was kind of looking for X, but I was like, just get the free yardage. The free first down. He's wide open. That's fine. Uh, coach wants to start uh, running down the clock. Also, the, the, the clock was just kind of changed a little bit. The sun just kind of went down a lot it, within the last, like, nanosecond. Hendricks able to run it up the middle. Get five yards. That's pretty good if we're running it up the middle. And I talked about this in a, in a previous episode, but I am going to make a halfback after this guy graduates NCAA. So I'm not too sure what team to send him to. Uh... Oh shoot, I can actually run in the end zone. Wow. We're gonna keep running up score. Thank God I was pressing the I was tapping square like to tell my guy to Oh, he's wide open. I was I was pressing uh tapping square to make sure like my guy would slide, but for some reason he didn't slide, which is a good thing because I was able to run in the end zone. So good thing that slide glitched out. That guy was wide open, so it looks like Hail Marys are a possible thing in this game. We're already at the 14 yard line. I think we're gonna we're gonna put this one to bed. We're gonna get it in the end zone on this play, and then we will, we will uh, kind of run out the clock. There you go. Let's touch them. Now this game doesn't even look close. So coach is just gonna have us run out the ball. So I'm gonna do that. So I will catch you guys at the end of this game. Okay, that's fun. So we were able to beat NC State, which seemed like a close game. It was like a one possession game with two minutes left in the fourth or something like that. And we were able to come out uh, on top by four touchdowns. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna hop out of this game. So we're still number two uh, being seven and oh. Let's actually check where we are at currently in the top 25. Michigan State's ranked nine. Also, Georgia Tech did lose. I don't know. Uh, if they have lost uh, again after no they only lost one game so they're six and one sitting at 11th uh, my boys in east lansing are currently number nine i like to see that of course and uh alabama is playing lsu this week so that's gonna be a grudge match surely number four kansas state number four kansas state well i never thought i'd be able to uh, or i thought i'd be able to say that and we'll be playing number 10 texas and then of course the First, uh, the number one and number two spot are going to be playing uh, easy matches against Boston College and UVA. Uh, all I'm scared of is really Oklahoma. Uh, hopefully, they can really choke against TCU, and then hopefully Kansas State can choke against uh, Texas. Uh, other than that, there's not really too much of s surprises here in this top 25. I like how Oregon has kind of just been sitting at this, the, at the, like the 20 spot, kind of sitting at the the bottom of the top 25 we're gonna check heisman race and then we will head over to the upgrades and then end the episode off there so really not too many changes uh somebody from georgia has came up in here and then somebody from lsu has came into the heisman race but they will not pass me who would ever be able to pass me let's see actually what we have now that one's the big one considering we can we can really add and make our agility 99 or our throw, throw power 99 and our acceleration 99. So 100% going to upgrade that. Uh, I don't feel that we need to upgrade our catching, but we will do it anyways because now we're at 98 speed. And these are all one game boost. So the last one is read and react, which uh, I don't, I can't really upgrade that more anymore. So that, that one anymore. So it's kind of a waste at that point. So how we're looking for the rest of the season, uh, we play... 
really we have one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven games left in the season. So I would say around uh, three, four episodes left in, in uh, this season. So we play UVA and Georgia Tech next episode. And then hopefully South Carolina can go up. And then conference championships probably going to be against number one Virginia Tech. Uh, it's going to be against Virginia Tech 100%. The question is, are they going to be number one? Hopefully, when we play them, they're still number one. So, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you enjoy these videos, these videos and my content in general, please smack the crap out of that subscribe button and that like button and hit that bell for post notifications because at this point, I, I did have like a stable upload schedule, but I just kind of upload uh, randomly now. So, just again, hit that bell, hit the subscribe button if you're new. That's all I got. See ya.